when you can actually see your profit for the year in, in dollars and cents, you, it, it gets you more in the notion of selling corn, knowing that I can lock in a $50,000 profit or whatever the profit is, you want to lock it in. If I know I can make that much profit in a year, I will be in business next year. Good afternoon and welcome to Grain TV. It's June 27, 2013. I'm Logan Burgess. To my right here is Cody Bills. Cody, let's jump into fire tip. See how the grains traded here one day before the big USDA planted acreage and quarterly grain stocks report. As you can see, old crop corn closing the day up two and three quarters. New crop off five and a half cents. We had old crop soybeans once again the leader to the upside up 14 and a quarter. New crop off three quarters of a cent. Wheat in Chicago was down three and a half cents. Kansas City wheat down seven and three quarters. Cody, what's your take on the action that we saw here today? Well, you know, we did have export sales come out this morning, but quite frankly, I'm not sure that that drove the market very significantly. Yeah. Overshadowing the market, I think, was the huge stocks and plant or the the planted acreage report that we're going to see tomorrow. I think people were kind of jockeying around for position, but one of the interesting themes about today's trade, you could clearly see the old crop contracts yeah. gaining some ground while the new crop contracts were starting to lose some ground. I think tomorrow we're going to we, it's a big theme out there that we have an old crop uh, report and we have a new crop report and uh, and we could see you know on the old crop side we have stocks and people will be focusing on soybeans in particular we have incredibly tight stocks there and on the new crops or side of things we have the planted acreage and yeah. things obviously have been just uh, set up for uh, some serious fireworks here tomorrow yeah absolutely let's take a look here at what the market's expecting out of tomorrow's report just in terms of planted acreage uh, you know, Cody, as you said, uh, with kind of the uh, the pace of planting that we've seen throughout the spring here, as you said, it's really set up a situation here where people are really focused on this corn number in particular. Take a look here at the table. The middle column here is what the USDA projected uh, in their June WAS report. And the right column here is on average what analysts are expected to be reported tomorrow from the USDA. As you can see here, on average, people are looking for 2 million acres taken off the corn number. Uh, if we get into that a little bit more in detail, we have some major players out out there in the private analytical circles looking for a corn acreage number below 94 and a half million acres. I think that would certainly support uh, new crop futures. I think possibly even if we see a number below 95 million that could support new crop futures just because in general a lot of people aren't comfortable with the notion that the USDA is going to make that big of, uh, big of reduction out of tomorrow's numbers. Looking here at soybeans you can see that a much smaller revision is expected. On average analysts are looking for just 800,000 acres added to the USDA's projection for soybean uh, soybean plantings here. And that number has really been helped out by a much lower corn number. I know certainly in the last couple of days, talking to a lot of producers out there from Iowa, Indiana, and Illinois, uh, there are a lot of acres out there that were switched from corn into soybeans. We know that's the case. Now the big question is to what magnitude did that occur? Tomorrow we'll get some answers from the USDA or at least some, some projections, I guess, I guess, to go on. Absolutely. Let's just switch over here to the stocks report because this is also going to be a very key driver in tomorrow's price activity. As you saw, you, you know, old crop uh, or July soybean contract was up 14 uh, right. cents here today. And, and I think a lot of people are focusing on soybeans because if you take a look at here at the uh, expectations for the stocks relative to last year, I mean, we're coming in a couple hundred uh, you know, million bushels below where we were at last year right. in the June first uh, in the June first was or the June WASD report uh, we saw a project uh, expected uh, stocks to use ratio of somewhere around four percent so if we if we have any more use than was anticipated right. here I think we could see some serious move to the upside in that July uh, contract for soybeans and in particular I mean then we move into a situation I think Tuesday uh, where you you can where the limit move is no longer um, applicable right. I, I, I really do think that uh, that soybeans is going to be a big player here in tomorrow's report absolutely well that's kind of what people are expecting here out of the numbers certainly at this point all we can do is wait to see what the USDA projects tomorrow as we said, that report's going to be dropping at 11 a.m. Central Time. We'll keep you posted about all the numbers tomorrow on Twitter or live. You can find us over on Twitter, at Grain TV. If you guys want live quotes for the report at your home or office, visit us over at GrainHedge.com. You can take a no-obligation trial of the platform that we use here on Grain TV and get some of those real-time quotes for the big report tomorrow. In general, though, that's kind of what we saw here for a Thursday in the grain market. Thanks a lot for joining us on Grain TV. We'll see you tomorrow for the big USDA report.